Let's start with England and a selection dilemma has emerged this afternoon after Mason Mount sat out of training. There are also concerns about the Poland team due to a Covid outbreak within the squad. Here to discuss it all is Carve Solico, who was watching Gareth Southgate's squad train earlier today. Carve, thanks for joining me. No Mason Mount in training then. That's the big story from today, isn't it? Yes, look, uh, Mason Mount has now become a key player for England. When he's fit, he starts. He is one of Gareth Southgate's go-to players. So it was a bit of a surprise not to see him at training uh, this morning at uh, Pennyhill Park in Surrey. Now, there didn't seem to be anything wrong with him uh, after the game against Albert in which uh, he scored. He played very, very well. Uh, he played in a slightly advanced role as a kind of number 10. And Gareth Southgate was very pleased with his performance. And he was asked after the Albania game whether he would start Mason Mount again or whether he would have to be careful with him. And Gareth Southgate said, look, absolutely. I can't always be rotating uh, my players. This is England. We need to win games. So I think he would have started uh, if he was fit. But of course, because he missed the training session today, it looks like he is doubtful for tomorrow and if you're a Chelsea supporter you're worrying now because you've got a game against West Brom on Saturday and you've got the Champions League game against Porto uh, next week but bad news potentially for uh, Mason Mount could be good news for somebody else who yeah. could potentially come in you're looking at players like Jesse Lingard. Uh, he was training this morning. You're looking at somebody like Phil Foden, who played against Albania on Sunday. He played very, very well. And it's another chance for Jesse Lingard. Incredible story, because just a few months ago, he was totally out of the picture at club level and international level, but he should get another chance to show Gareth Southgate what he can do uh, tomorrow. I think... If Jack Grealish was fit and in the squad, he would probably get a chance to come in instead of Mason Mount tomorrow. If Jadon Sancho uh, was fit and in the squad, he would be another option. But looking at the players that Gareth Southgate has at his disposal for tomorrow, if Mason Mount can't play, then it looks like it could be another chance for Phil Foden or Jesse Lingard. What about at the back then, Carve? Because uh, it seems like three at the back temporarily is out of the equation. We've seen uh, uh, them line up with four at the back twice now. One of that was to do with maybe the, the calibre of the opposition that they were facing more than anything else. Do you think Southgate would have been tempted to revert back to three at the back with Robin Lewandowski if he had been fit to play? I think if Lewandowski had been playing, uh, Gareth Southgate may have played with three at the back. Uh, we asked him about this after the game uh, against Albania and he said, look, we have to get back to England, uh, watch Poland, see how they lined up against Andorra yeah. and then we will decide what kind of formation uh, we are going to play. I think... The good news for Gareth Southgate is at the last World Cup in Russia, he had quite a young, inexperienced side, so he felt that he needed to play with three at the back mm. to just give him a bit more security. He had to be a bit more cautious. Uh, that was normally uh, Stones, Maguire and Carl Walker. But now those players have got more experience. They're older and John Stones back playing so well for Manchester City, back in the England squad with his Great friend, you can see there, Harry Maguire. Uh, they've known each other for years and years, grew up playing schoolboy football together. So I think having those two players and that partnership uh, means that Gareth Southgate can play with a flat back four, especially because he's got protection as well from two defensive midfielders, who in the Euros, it could be Declan Rice and Jordan Henderson. But I think Gareth Southgate is getting near that sweet spot. Mm. He always wanted to have a squad who could adapt to playing different formations, uh, not just at the start of games, but during games. Yeah. And we saw that during the Albania game as well. He wasn't happy with the way England started the game. Uh, so about 20 minutes into that game, he slightly changed the formation. Mason Mount played a bit further forward. And I think now he's got that blend of youth and experience, which means that he can be pretty comfortable uh, playing with three at the back or a flat back four. Yeah, it's a good point. I can't remember a time where England were perhaps so adaptable as they are at the moment. Uh, injury, though, obviously to, to Lewandowski and positive Covid tests for Poland as well. Do they still have the players that can hurt England, though? Uh, they do have players who can hurt England, but obviously uh, Robert Lewandowski was the big, big threat. Yeah. Uh, good news for England that he's not going to be playing tomorrow night. Uh, they've 
also had these three positive COVID tests. Mm. They are now uh, in London, the Poland squad. They're staying at a uh, hotel very close to Wembley Stadium. They'll be training at Wembley Stadium uh, later this afternoon. Uh, and speaking to people around the England camp, they were telling me that, look, this game is definitely going ahead because the FIFA rules are if you have 13 fit players then the game goes ahead. And I think Poland still have what, even after those tests, they've got, what, 19 players in their squad. Regarding what kind of game it will be, I think it will be a much tougher test for England than San Marino, than Albania uh, away. Uh, Poland, though, I think will be quite defensive in this game. Uh, the noises we're hearing from their camp is that they would be happy with a draw. They're coming for a draw. Uh, they're going to have a lot of men behind the ball. They're going to try and frustrate England uh, and they will try and hit England on the break. So I think as far as England are concerned, one, uh, they can't underestimate Poland because they've still, even without Lewandowski, they've got a lot of players who play in the top leagues around Europe. Yeah. Uh, we should see uh, Piontek playing up front for them, uh, who played AC Milan, plays for Hertha Berlin. So they are still dangerous. I think it's going to have to be the same approach that England had against Albania, which is to be patient. Uh, to you know, start the game, be patient, Have keep the, the ball. ball. Well. And what we saw against uh, San Marino as well is that they need to play at a high tempo. Mm. Really put your foot down for the full 90 minutes because I think Poland will be a, a, a tougher test than San Marino and Albania.